12 cents on TikTok. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You made something, right? <laughs> so you think if you if you focus a little bit more, then you might make a little more. That is true. That's the way the fuck I'm looking at it. I think we're live. We are live. We're live. We're live. Oh. <laughs> we have missed you all because we have not been here for like three weeks and like honestly we've been chilling in the background just talking and kind of we're like we should go live <laughs> right let's do it but that's what we do so we are so excited because this is 2024 thank you god i don't know about anybody else but i am the most grateful that 2023 is in the books it was a really challenging year. A lot of rough things went down through it. Grateful to have it in the books behind me and still survived it. I'm grateful. So 2024, I'm, I'm excited to see about the possibilities and the things that are going to occur for us. I'm excited. You know, and we know that it's eight. Challenging year. It's the eight year. What cycles? Cycle, cycle, cycles. Guys, you guys. Let's hold on. Let Megan become a little. Just a little. <laughs> All right. Now, here's your little math number, guys, but here's your eight. But here's here's the biggest thing. The reason as to why this year is the biggest thing, because it's the infinity loop. These are the cycles. These, these are your karmics. Like, that's what this year is all about. And, you know, guys, I'm I'm just going to go ahead and put this out there that the people who, you know, the last couple years, you guys have been doing some work on yourselves. You guys have, you know, started to become, you know, a little more self-aware, a little more, you know, conscious, a little, um, a little more live. Um, you know, Tammy and I both included in that, you know, good job because, I think 2024 is going to be an amazing, phenomenal year for you. I'm included in that. Absolutely. Um, people who haven't done some work and um, it's your turn. Uh, it's kind of like, you know, it's kind of like that. What comes around goes around guys. And right now it's kind of a, uh, it's a, what goes around for you because, and please know this, we are here for you and we love you, but uh, it's your turn. It's, it's that infinity because the universe Gus, as Tammy and I like to call it, you know, God, universe, spirit, source. They have been showing you over and over and over again, certain cycles, certain patterns that they are really kind of like those neon lights. They're flashing to you. And we still can't freaking see them. I was going to say not only the neon lights, you got the, the the scary music, you know, the scary movie it's music. It's all there. <laughs> you know, the one that you hear and you already know some shit is about to go down. It's all there and you still ignored it. <laughs> Tammy and I were just talking about that and kind of like, <laughs> uh, last. I'm not going to get into it? complete details, but about how it's like a situation has kind of come to mind. I was reminded about something because, you know, this is truly the journey. That's what the journey is about. It's about yes. being reminded and waking the fuck up to like, yes. who you are. but okay. So I was reminded of something that I really enjoyed, you know, and I wanted a partner to be able to do that with and about how that certain people, I should have looked at like their own yards. <laughs> You know, like, like I'm now being reminded of those things where it was like, honey, you weren't paying attention, paying attention, <laughs> naive, dumb, stupid, whatever <laughs> you want to call it. But the red flags were literally right there like that. Here you go, baby doll. It's like you just you just straight out ignored them. Straight out ignored them. It, it's the almost like do that. I was gonna say it's almost like you have somebody that you know you like for people to call you before they come to your house. Yeah. Right? And you tell them that. 
Yeah. But they just pop the fuck up all the time. Yeah. And you think that if you get together with them, if you marry them or if you 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 bed them down or you shack with them or whatever, it's gonna change and they gonna change. Yeah. No, they're not. And then they're gonna let other people do the same shit. Then they're gonna have their friends popping up to your house. And it and, and next thing you know, they all sitting in your damn living room or something. You know, you ain't even home. You walk in the door and you got 50 people in your living room. You didn't know they was going to be there. But why? Because this motherfucker doesn't let everybody in because that's what he did. And you didn't realize that when you invited him in. Right? Same type of shit. Type of shit. And the universe sometimes gets a little mean. I was having a talk with someone uh, the other day. They were like, look, and they, they were kind of going off on religious people. They, they they really kind of were. They were like, can we please not have the conversation, the hypocrisy of in a Bible that they literally pray down to a book. They pray down to a book that says inside the book, do not have a false idol, but they pray <laughs> down to a book. And yet <laughs> every other chapter, one chapter is we love each other. The next chapter is we kill each other. The next <laughs> chapter is we love each other the next one and I was like <laughs> I don't have a you and you know the thing is is if you say something about it to them you know then you are the devil I forgot yeah you're the devil <laughs> you're Satan you're a demon all of this kind of stuff and it's like you know but the signs are right there of course they are what are what are what are we paying attention to and this year on the number eight the numerology you're gonna be asked and some people are gonna have to answer some hard questions and are yeah. you are you there are you able to yeah. where is like right now guys is a perfect time you know it's new year check in with yourself yeah Really, really check in, pay attention to what's going on. What are, what are the emotions? What are the feelings? You know, it is, are you feeling fear? Are you feeling excitement? Because let's, you know, we, uh, Tammy and I love universal laws. Yes. We love them. My favorite is the law of polarity. And basically it's the law of opposite, you mm -hmm. know? And um, so if there is a side of you that is, like completely miserable and are unhappy and, and all that type of stuff like that. Like this is the seriously the year with the eight, with the infinity loop to flip it. Yep. Yeah. It's that time. It's it's that time to do it. And like, you really want to become, I think, self-aware yeah. and self-identity as to who is it you're claiming right now? Because guys, you got to remember that some of these cycles in life run for like, two years, five years, eight years, 12 years, 15 years, you know, there's certain years. numbers. Um, what loop are you about to get caught back up in? Yep. I mean, really, the thing is, is take inventory, just like Megan said, you know, do a body scan, feel the way you feel. You don't even have to, it doesn't even have to be that deep. It could be if you're having a conversation with somebody, how does that shit make you feel? You know, do you feel something going on in your heart? Do you feel something going on in your solar plexus, in your stomach area? You know, how does that make you feel? Does it automatically start causing you to have pain? You know, when you're in the presence of this person or they're speaking some shit that's crazy. I mean, how does that, you know, how do you feel? You know, what, 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 what makes you understand and know who you are and who you are being? Yeah, Lena and I had a conversation about that this morning. That's kind of funny that you put it that way. I, I kind of didn't think about that. But we were talking about um, the dating saga of Megan. And I had the conversation, though, about um, stress. Yeah. Like, if I'm talking to a person, like, you know, because, yeah, dating, I'm talking on texting type aspects, you know. But if they annoy you, and like, you've only like, say, like been talking to them for like a week. They've already stressed you out. No. Cut them out. <laughs> no. Like, 
it's like literally, but like we continue to see if that will change. And it's like, honey, wake up. Guy and girl, and I say, honey, I don't, I don't mean any like girl or anything like. I mean everyone. Wake up! If they already are causing you stress in one week, imagine how much stress they're going to cause in your life in a month, two months, three months, six months, nine months, twelve months. See patterns. I just gave the same type of numerology number type thing. Yep. And Chrissy said, "Cut them off. Cut them off. Cut them off. Let them be." Let it be. This is the year that some of those people are really going to be ripped away and be thankful for it. You know, I was telling someone that, um, yeah, this was the first like New Year's and, you know, and let's just be honest. I've had a shitty ass life. I have so much negativity. I can look back this. I can honestly say, girl, was the first year that I looked back at New Year's and I had no negativity at all. That it was literally all thankful for every decision that I've made, where it was literally just like every single one of those things had to happen for me to be at this pinpoint, this yes. spot right now. Yes. And it's freaking phenomenal. It it's is fabulous. I was going to say it's beyond phenomenal because I, you know, because we were talking before we came on the same thing. You know, I, this was the first year that, you know, I was able to take, we were able to take vacation, like nine freaking days, like never, ever in life that many and just enjoy it. And I was able to relax because typically I don't, you know, I, I, I carry and I know that I have for like years and years and decades, a low level anxiety. I've always carried it and I've known it, you know, and it's one of those things that, you know, I used to battle. But now I don't battle it. I just allow and I, I let it flow through and I run energy through my body and do these things that I know are good for me as far as that. But I know that. But this was the first year that, you know, I didn't I didn't worry about anything. I didn't care about nothing. I didn't do nothing. I mean, I did what I wanted to do. You know, we did, we had fun. We relaxed. We chilled. You know, and I mean, it was just so amazing. And we were only five hours away from home. So we drove so we didn't have to get on the damn plane and deal with TSA and all that other stupid shit. But it was just just so much peaceful and calming and relaxing. And, you know, I didn't and I felt like Megan. I mean, 2023 was a shit show for me, but I didn't have any regrets. And I didn't even think, you know, any kind of way about it. I just was like, you know what? This is so nice, you know, because we were able to, you know, we met people there because, you know, my husband doesn't meet a stranger, <laughs> but, um, but it was nice. We were able to go out on a boat. I ain't going to tell you about that part. Right? We went yeah. out on the boat with these guys. <laughs> well, it was a lot of fun. You know, I, 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 I did, I must admit, I did have some get out vibes for a second. <laughs> <laughs> But it passed. <laughs> Isn't it awesome realizing that the, the like the law of polarity, the same feeling of that anxiety is the same feeling as the all that pleasure and that yes, joy. Yes. Same. It's just it's the same stick, just on opposite ends. On opposite ends. But See, it's the same it's, thing. And if we could train our bodies and and learn yeah. to do that. Yes. It breaks so many cycles. Not only that, and we probably, to be honest, I think a lot of people wouldn't need drugs. Oh, God, no, they wouldn't. You know, because for me, my body does not do psych drugs. I've tried them. <laughs> I've tried them quite a few, few, and it doesn't do it. So I stopped trying. So now I use energy and do what I need to do in that way and use herbs and different things, food, whatever. But, um, but yeah, I mean, it would have so power. many so many people to begin to tap into their own healing power because we have it. Yeah. You know, we can, we can use it now. Is it easy all the time? No. Sometimes it's a challenge. Yeah. You know, life but, is a test. it's a game. I was, was going to say, well, the other part of that is for me, if it was easy, I probably wouldn't do it because I like challenges. Um, well, you know, but that's it's such a cliche statement because of the fact they always say, you know, um, anything worth having is worth fighting for. Oh yeah, so I mean, I that. that mentality, it's worth 
working for, working for and fighting for, for. It's, a, it's a complete different energy, yeah. you know, surrendering for, did you yeah. say that? No. I don't honestly remember what I said, but you know how that is. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, but it, it's, how do you let that just like, it's just let it flow, but it comes down to that. It's that programming of the words, guys, of what we're telling each other. Like, yes. you know, I've been on a kick this week. I've been on a yelling at people for saying new, new year, new me. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, you kind of have been on that. Kick. I have been on that kick because it is pissing me off because I just think about of how you have to get to that point of acceptance. You just, <laughs> you have to, and I want it for other people, you know? Now, you know them people, they're not going to accept that they're 500 pounds. They 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 want to be 250 or, or 200. No, no, they want to be 140. Well, you pounds. can't be that. So they, got, so they got to say new year, new me, so that they can get their ass up off the couch and exercise and shit. Yeah, but <laughs> you can just say, new weight loss me you know <laughs> lighter me it doesn't it's not going to be a new you you know when you're constantly your subconscious mind is con new 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 your body is constantly searching for new but you're also not being specific exactly. you know when you're when you are saying that you're not being specific you're just saying new me okay well new what new career new 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 what <laughs> You're not saying good. You're not saying bad. You're not saying all your all your subconscious mind is hearing is new. That, so does that mean you're going to get in a car accident and they're going to reconstruct you? Or? It could, you know. But we, that's where it's like again, that's a self awareness. Is like you know we have to become self aware of what we're saying. Like you know, I posted a reel earlier today about how like in the dating arena, right. stop seeing you know. Um, well, hello, I, Sean White. We what? I was responding to the people in the comments. Oh, uh, how? Hey guys, we got people. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I mean, I got just actually lost my whole train of thought. <laughs> you know what? It happens, and the thing is, is it usually either comes back or it just doesn't. Oh, it will so come back. And you know what's wild? It's okay. I don't care. If it comes back, it's great. Then that means that you guys get to hear it. If it doesn't come back, then it's probably just for me anyway. Yeah, it was probably just for her. You know, that, that's that's how that goes. So, but but yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so, I yeah. know what I'm seeing. But see, I know <laughs> I remember. I remember what I was saying. So yeah, no, um, the fact of like saying for dating of like, oh, I always date narcissists. Oh, I always find the losers. Oh, I find. What do you think your subconscious mind, guys, subconscious mind is by reconditioning. That's why. And I, I laugh at anyone who, you know, really kind of doubts like NLP, but yet you do affirmations. Um, right. Anyone who does, because that is all affirmations are, guys, is NLP. It's just to a deeper, like what NLP does is to a different level. But you are still using an affirmation to reprogram a conscious belief of some type of limiting belief that you have. Yes. You know, that that is the truth of the reality of what an affirmation is. You are trying to because that is how our subconscious mind learns. Our subconscious mind learns from repeated patterns and repeated habits. So if you continue to tell your affirmations, some people are like, oh, all I need are affirmations. Some people are that. You know what? You're a manifesting generator and I stick my fingers up to you because I'm a projector and Tammy's a reflector. Exactly. So <laughs> yeah. and it, look, and it doesn't work that way for us. <laughs> it does not work that way for us. Like, and, you know, we have a different, but you know what? But we know a lot of manifesting generators and those generators are great people and they help us out. And, you know, but it's a community to go through and I actually kind of just lost my train of thought on that one. <laughs> I'm really excited. But, but it but it's so real though. It's so real because when you think about it, like I always love to talk about affirmations because people are like, oh I'm beautiful and I'm wonderful. I'm yeah, but I mean let's go a little deeper. Yeah. You know, let, well, let's move you know, so to a whole nother place. I, I forget the guy's name and I haven't been able to watch the whole thing. It was kind of like one of those long ones. Yeah. You know how I am with videos. Yeah. But it was an interesting concept where the guy was actually saying that um, the I am is actually speaking it into future tense. It's not present tense that you're speaking it for future dates. 
Um, and so there, there's kind of an interesting. That's a little interesting because if, I mean, if you think about, if you deconstruct even the word, am is now. But not in how the original letterings of the way the words would have actually gone of how they were assumed because like M was a letter before A. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think about that. And then the other part, too, is where where did we get it from? You right. know, did it come from the fucking Ethiopian Bible, which is supposed to be the first one way, way, way back? Yeah. Or did we get it from the fucking stupid ass King James? Right. So, yeah, so there's, no, there's actually a, that the I am is actually a future tense. Um, so I have finished watching it. So. You need to send, send me that. I will. Because you know uh -huh. I watch it in sections. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of what I'm doing. Because it's such an intriguing, because I love, I have to say, I have realized such the power of words. Yeah. yeah. There are so many things. And even, and that's where I say, it's like, I have realized so many things in life. I have manifested through my words that God universe knew I didn't, that is not what the hell I meant. Like you're just being an ass now. Like, you know, I was not consciously aware, <laughs> like, you know, you I to plead the fifth with the, with the big you. Yeah. Like, <laughs> come on, you know, I like really I was saying that. Like, yeah, that's, you know, exactly. That's not what I meant, but it is what I said. <laughs> that That is kind of the truth though. It's like, that's what I said. Uh, there, there are, I can think of three situations that I have dealt with personally within the last five years that I can, that is not what the fuck I meant, but that is what the hell I said. Chrissy said, I am is manifesting something to come until it's here. Therefore yeah. it's future tense. Ah, see, so mm -hmm. I'm gonna pull this stuff so I can see it. Um, yeah, I just put it on the phone. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, I actually that, was gonna put us on TikTok, but I, I forgot it went left my head. Uh, <laughs> while we were talking, I was like, what "Put I put us on TikTok while we're doing this in double duty." Yeah, we gotta start doing that, guys. Yeah, and if y'all want to share that. us, we'd appreciate it. You know, like us, share us, comment. Tammy and I are really trying to get this going. You know, we, we've been sitting around kind of uh, kind of like a little hobby, but now it's kind of, you know, it's big time. time. It's time. It's time. Yeah. But yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that when we do this Do this next week. I'm going to put it on um, TikTok Live. Just do the thing. Yeah. Because I seen somebody doing it the other day and I was like, I never fucking thought about that. Because they were doing a fucking master class, Megan, Marie. Yeah. I'm probably going to do one lie. here. Probably going to do one here on a um, emotional intelligence. Do it on your computer and then turn your phone up and do it on, do it on your phone on TikTok Live. I saw that girl doing that thing. I went, look, because she had her Canva thing up, you know, like like we like to do and stuff. Creating, yeah. You know, the little things, presentation and stuff. She had that up and she had it right on the damn phone. Yeah. So right up on fucking TikTok. I was like, she was like, yeah, I'm doing this master class. And I was like, yeah, that's up my alley. That's my shit. Oh, oh, Y'all know me. Uh, Megan is so tech. Like, I'm, I'm no, having no, to learn no, how to do no. audio video. You're not I did not say that. anything. I, I said I am learning how to do audio video clips. Okay. I am changing how I'm speaking to myself. Because I'm there have been some things that, you know, I just did not want to learn how to do. I don't. I have no interest. It's not my passion. It's not my desire. But I'm realizing but it that needs I need to be to done. It. it needs to be done and I need to know how to do it. And so I have because, to learn you know, it. The other thing too is, you know, we all have people and if we have teams and stuff like that, well, they get sick sometimes. They yeah. need to take vacation. Yes. Yeah. I, I learned that from um Leisure Heart School actually. Cause she said, yeah, she said, I have a, um, I have a, a assistant, she said, and I have somebody that helps me with some of the graphics things or whatever, the, the audio, of the, you know, that, that stuff. She said, but I learned how to do it. She said, because sometimes those people get sick. Yeah. And sometimes I have something I need to do. Yeah. And so sometimes I have to do it. She said, plus, she said, I had to learn it so I could show them what I want. 
because everybody yeah. doesn't do everything the same way and we don't all want it the same way because we're all different people we're not fucking carbon copies of one person yes. yeah. so that that's the other piece it's, it's like you know yeah you don't want to have to do it all the time forever and ever and ever but you know you got to learn how to do it so you'll know yeah you got to be able to make a decision because you know that's also part of being an adult this is the year guys this is the year you know justice karma decisions you know my funny joke my my mom joke on that uh why does c become before uh b and d why is c in between b and d birth and death it's all the choices you make between birth and death mm -hmm. <laughs> i know i love that joke <laughs> it's so stupid it's so <laughs> awesome thank you for joining pedro and thank you for joining dr james i appreciate y'all for hanging out with us but yeah um i think that you know just being able to come into this new world i mean <laughs> exactly Timmy, right. Timmy, Timmy. This it's new not year. new. Not new. <laughs> you know, it, it's almost the same as um when I hear people say uh first and foremost. Oh, you know, I kind of like that statement. <laughs> yeah, that it's like no, it's like a double negative. It's like no, because first is foremost. No, stop it. Well, like I think that's an insulting. The, it's like scratching on the blackboard. Yeah. I'm like, and, and and you know, everybody says it. So you hear it all the time. I was just talking to Angie and that was, she popped it out of her throat. And I said, you, what did you just say? <laughs> I felt like I needed the scary music, the scary movie music. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> However, um, I just think that this year is, I think it's going to be what you make it. That's what I think. I think it's I going like to be fabulous. Year, but fabulous. I'm, I'm open to fabulous. I like that. And I'm open to receive. And so, you know, and I'm, I don't have to just receive on my birthday. I can receive any day and every day of the year. And I receive every day of the year. I'm open to that. I'm greedy. And I'm grateful. Greedy, everyone, grateful. Everyone. I'm uh, all of it and both. All, all of the above. New Earth yeah. growth is for us star seeds. That's what Pedro said. That's right. Yes. You know, but I've also realized if like, even like the word greedy though, you know, there's such a negative connotation around greed. And what does it mean? What's I don't actually know the that? actual definition of it. What? You don't know? No. <laughs> look, look, and you don't know? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Megan always knows everything. Megan I'm looks say, up everything. Megan always looks up shit. But you know, but that was the thing. It's like I started realizing it's like I don't. Yeah, I mean, it's good to have the other opinions of everything else. But why do I have to assume that greedy just means why can't a good person be greedy because they give back to people? Why why can't I have that connotation to the word? Why can't I put that energy? And I realized you can I do can. whatever you want to do. You can do, you can do what yeah. you want. But how many people? And so like, we, we just, it's like the same thing as the word selfish, you yes. know, selfish it, is a, a good Which word. I agree with. It's a good it's word. It's boundaries. It, it's, it's standing up for yourself. It's loving yourself. You know, yes. I love the saying, you know, to become, um, to become selfless. You, I mean, to be, you have to be selfish to become selfless. Yes. I agree with On that. It. And it's true. Well, you know, what it is, is caring for yourself, is caring for yourself. And so many, especially women, my God, we will care for every fucking body else before us. We'll care for the kids before us. We'll care for our partner before us. We're care right. for, we will care for the fucking animals before us. We've got to get greedy with our own energy. We got to get greedy with our own love. We've got to get greedy. Greedy can be good. There right. is good and bad and everything. Yes. There is, you know, and you cannot find the dark. Without the light. Without the light. And the same thing, vice versa. You know, I think it's hilarious. Like, can you see in the you dark? Got the sun and the moon, right? Yeah. I can see in the dark. Right. People laugh at me. 
all the time. They're like, seriously, like you can see outside. And I'm like, yeah, give your eyes a few minutes and they can adjust. Yep, let them adjust. And I realized though, I'd seen way too much in the dark. Because I can adjust. I can live there. I can I can see. I mean, but, it's. But why should you? Why should I? Why should yeah, I? And the dark doesn't, the it doesn't make me afraid. Exactly. I'm not scared of the dark. Exactly. Because I because mean. I was going to say, because what it does is it allows you, when you are in this space where you are allowing the flow to flow through you, then you recognize that there's the shadow, there's the light, there's the darkness, all of those things, but they all make up the one you. You know, and the more we begin to entreat this thing and the more we begin to embody this thing and the more we get, begin to set intentions and decide that this is what the fuck I'm going to do. Why can't I do that? Why can't greedy be a thing, a good thing? You know, why can't self-care be the order of the day? Why can't selfishness be a thing that we need to embody? I do. Yeah. I didn't used to for decades, y'all. Decades. Never did. But I do now. Now I'm very, very particular about my time. I'm very, very particular about my space. I'm very, very particular about my fucking energy. Sometimes I can't do certain things and I'm not going to do it. Sometimes I don't want to be around certain people and I'm not going to. And I'm not going to tell myself that I have to because of anything any fucking body says. That's the long and the short of it. You know? Yep. Healthy greed and healthy selfishness. Yep. Yeah. Because there is a balance between everything. Yeah. And that's what life is finding. It is about walking the tight rope. It is about performing an act. Yeah. Yeah. What it character is. are you playing? And you know, some of us are different characters every day. Every day. And there's nothing wrong with that either. No, ma'am. I mean, because you get to decide. And that's 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 the part of it. It's like you get to decide. You know, I because I tell people I'm like, um, I love all God's creatures, but I don't really love to be around them all the time. Yeah. <laughs> and that's how I'm gonna put that. <laughs> You know, it's like, uh, you know, like I love, I love my family, but um, yeah, I can do them in small doses, you know, just a little while and, you know, love on them and, you know, hang out and whatever. And then I need to go back to my own damn house in my own space, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and it's okay. And I don't let nobody, you know, I don't let nobody tell me anything different or that something is wrong with that. You know, because I put up boundaries, you know, I'm right. actually helping my mama with boundaries now because I put them up. I give a fuck. Isn't it great when we get to the point of don't give a fuck anymore? I forgot how much I used to not give a fuck. And then I remember giving a fuck. Now I'm like, I don't give a fuck. I feel like that. Uh, you remember the, <laughs> you remember that that. <laughs> Where the guy would say, just wait a few minutes. And what? He, would, he would say, he would hold his hands up like this. And he would say, uh -huh. just wait, just wait a few minutes. He said, and maybe a fuck will fall out and I could give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I think I saved that one because it was so funny. That is good. <laughs> see, I grew sad. up with wishing one hand and shit in the other one and see which one gets filled faster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember all those type of things too. Some of those were uh so many let me say beliefs. To what? I said so many limiting beliefs. Oh god, yeah. When you think about that stuff, it's like, dang, no wonder we're all screwed up. All right. <laughs> and we have to heal and go through. And go through, uh, what do they call those things? Dark nights of the soul. Oh yes. my God. I don't know about nobody else, but I'm good. I don't need any more of those. I'm nope. great. I'm great. Good. I've done it. Good. 
Been there, done it. it. <laughs> Don't recommend it. Got the yes. cup, the mug, the t-shirt, the pen, all that shit. I'm good. Been there, done that. We're good. Yeah. It's like, um, <laughs> Eddie Murphy do it. Thank you. But it's great to be in that energy space to sit back and actually feel gratitude for that. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I am appreciative. I learned a lot. Yeah. You know, I, I learned good. a lot. I learned a lot about myself that, you know, wish I could have, did a, would have, you know, learned about myself in my younger years, but I didn't, you know, I was talking to a friend of mine um the other day, uh, you know, she's 62 years old and we were talking and it was, um, thank God for late bloomers. Yes. You know, because her and I are both late bloomers. You know, we're happy we didn't peak. We're happy we didn't, you know, peak right out of high school. We're happy, you know, and we have different people of, and, you know, and right there that shows the layers of it is, you know, she's like 20 something years older than me and stuff like that, you know, and she, she's now just getting to the highness of her life, you know, and, you know, I'm 43 and I'm, getting to a peak like I'm not even to the highest part yet like that's the coolest part you know like I'm, I'm working you know that the growth up there and stuff like that and and luckily we have people at all those different and we were kind of talking about about you know how there's like uh funny go back to dating um but we were talking about how with dating it's like it's funny like I'm happy even as stressed out as I was and and all of that type of stuff like that I'm so blessed and so thankful that that did not hurt my age like how I look, how I feel, you know, because I, there's so many people out there that are like my age, but they look 20 years older than me. Who is it? And it's like, damn, you drank a lot and you had a lot look, of stress. Look, look, or 25. Or yeah, or 25. See, but you know, I don't even like to tell people how old I am. I don't like to do it, especially when I know how old they are. And I know that I'm, sometimes I'm older than them. <laughs> yeah. I look way younger. So I don't even like to tell them because I feel bad for them. You know what I yeah. mean? And I don't, and then I don't want the hate because I get that and I, I understand it. You know, yes. I you know, honest, I don't really honestly give a fuck about it, but you know, to avoid all of those things, I'm like, you know, and they'll, they'll even ask me and shit and I, I will fucking avoid the question and I'll ignore it and I'll talk around it and say some other shit and you know, sometime I'll they'll say something like, you know, well, how old is um your child? Your children, you got children, yeah. How old are your children? Then I tell them how my children are, and then they kind of start adding shit up. Yeah. You know, and I was like, you know, what what can you say? Right. But my thing is, I'm I'm not gonna just, you know, I don't, I'm not gonna do that to people because I know how people are. Like, like, oh my god, one lady, I think she felt so bad because she was about three years younger than me, and she. She looked like she could be about my mama's age. And so. <laughs> but it's how do you, how are you taking care of yourself? You know, is that right. mental? It's an emotional. It's that physical. It's, you know, it's, it's how are you taking care of yourself? And, you know, your mental health has a lot to do. Doesn't it? I mean, because honestly, when I, when I get a chance to get away, that like, it does something for me. It's almost like fuel. Yeah. It's like I get refueled and refreshed and all of this shit. And it's like, damn, I need to do this more often. You right. know, this is some shit I need to do. I actually just talked to David. I was like, um, we need to go somewhere at least once a quarter. Yeah. I said, I just need to get the fuck. I don't, you know, I just need to go. You know, I need a change of scenery. I don't really don't care how far it is. You know, I just need to be not here. Right. So I, I think that that's, you know, you know. But what do you think was the biggest thing? that came for you as far as healing in this last year? Because because you had a um, rock and rolling year. I'd have to say the biggest was actually stepping out into the coaching business. That was finally me declaring I was healed enough to help other people. Me right. actually, for that, that was, that was my, that was my moment. That was, I'm finally healed enough that I believe that I can actually heal and help other people and be paid for it, not just be a friend and do it. And then see, that's the one thing it's like, I've been doing the, like, this is who I am. I've always done this right now. It's like, you know, I healed my own shit for the first time. I've always healed other people's stuff. I just never healed my own. 
So I would take yeah. on other people's stuff. I mean, but it's easier. It is. It's so much easier. Because, because you know, I mean, and honestly, a lot of times you do it because what? Because if you're dealing with somebody else's shit, then you don't have time to deal with yours. Right. And most of the time, that's that's how that thing goes. It's like, okay, I'm over here. And I finally dealt with my shit. And uh, so now it's finally, I'm not weighed down by it anymore, you know, and finally I get to, it's released. It's like, oh, I, you know, that, that was big steps to, you know, declare like I'm healed. Like I no longer resignate with any of that. I, I no longer resignate with the, okay. you know, we're always healing. No, we're not. Look. Not how I choose to live my life. I do not choose. I do not believe that this world is about constantly suffering and pain and healing. And and that is what healing has to do with is pain and suffering. If you're healing from something, you went through something. And so, you know, it's it's really it's putting that words. It's putting what do what do words mean to you? You know, I'm done getting over things. I'm done with pain and suffering. It's on pleasure and joy. Absolutely. I mean, and my thing is, I mean, why would we strive for pain and suffering? Right. But if we think because, about it, you, that's what healing I, means. I was going to say, and you think about all the religious programming behind all that. Yeah. You know, because even, even with Christianity, so if Jesus paid the price, then why you got to pay it? Right. Um, no, and, and that I could never, I could never understand that. And I still don't, <laughs> nobody has ever really been able to explain that part to me because if Jesus paid the price, then why the hell are you paying the price? Right. You don't have a price to pay. Your price has already been paid. That's right. like going to Walmart and buying your fucking groceries and then going back in Walmart and giving them the same amount of money that you just fucking gave them with the groceries that you bought. So why? And so that that's my question for that. <laughs> yeah. You know, because I, I used to wonder that all the time. I mean, I thought you said Jesus paid the price. Yeah. He died for our sins. Right, right. So so why I gotta have all this hell? All right. You know, and that's kind of how the thing went through. But anyway, we're not talking about that. Nah. Um, uh, Princess said that pain and suffering circle is over in my life. Absolutely, absolutely. Yes, ma'am. We're done with that. We're on to the next one. We're on to the know, next. I don't know. Have you guys been meditating a lot? Like me, I started really diving deeper into meditation, so I've been meditating a lot, like more than twice in a day, not for long periods. Not now, you know, I'm not that person. <laughs> I've been a big meditator here the last few days. I've been really doing it, and I I've been in in my intentions that I've been setting in the meditations have been um take me deeper mm -hmm. take me deeper that's what I've been setting my intentions for you know and really um going into spaces that I haven't been been in before in meditation which is has been exciting you know and I, I know that on this on this road of spiritual growth which is what we what we talk about um that's a whole last thing, you know? And I think as we go along on this spiritual journey, then we actually begin to open up to what it is that we actually want on this journey. Because mm -hmm. a lot of us don't know, and it, it takes it takes time to figure it out and to see and to decide and look at it and set the intentions and all the other things that we are doing. But it takes time because, you know, when we start out, we may start over here, you know, one way one thing okay we're going to do this and this is where we're going da, 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 da. And then as we get into that thing we decide that not really for me i don't really like that <laughs> you know? that ain't really for me you know and I'm, I'm thinking about um what the hell were you before like the narcissistic soul healer or oh yeah like that yeah Nar narcissistic recovery coach or something. yeah yeah so yeah and i, I thought <laughs> I thought about that. And then we I thought constantly about are life. changing. I haven't been so many things. That's why right now I'm just Tammy Morrison. Because yeah. <laughs> I'm like, okay, you know, but the thing is, is you can call yourself whatever the hell you want to call yourself. Yeah. You know, especially if it's based on the results that you're getting the people. You know, that's a whole other thing too, right? Yeah. 
Francis said it's a misconception in the religious world. Absolutely. <laughs> it's like, to me, it's like they hold, they just glossed over that part. Let's focus over here with the part about, you know, women wearing the men's men's apparel, some shit yeah. like that. Or let's focus over here about women not supposed to be being able to teach. You know, let's focus over here in this tiny little scripture of some shit that Paul said, you know, that we're going to blow up and make a religion. Oh, did I say that? Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, so anyway. All right, so you want to land this plane? I want to land this plane. I actually want some ice cream. You better leave me alone because I don't have any and I just sent David to the freezer to see what did we have in there because we had bought these um, ice cream sandwiches from uh, Walmart when we went to Oregon, right? So we bought a box of them and David looked at me and said, why you buy that? Meat? We ain't gonna be able to eat all those before we leave. And I just looked at him and I said, okay. Because you know, the ice cream sandwiches aren't very big now. No, they're not. You know, they used to be like like that. Yeah. Now they're like this. That's actually <laughs> what I have. I have ice cream sandwiches. <laughs> well, that's, what we, that's what we had. So I bought them because they were like $2 and something for 12 and they had the Neapolitan ones. Yeah. Which are so good. So I was like, okay. So we grabbed them. Girl, uh, I think about the day before we left, we had already eaten. <laughs> and we bought them after the kids left. So it was just us. But I was like, baby, do we have anything? Because we're home now. You're, yes, we have anything in the freezer. He goes, well, I got this. And we had to throw that. I was... So I have a um, little, um, I think it's a strawberry, uh, you know, those strawberry frozen pop things. Yeah. Like the strawberry juice, but the strawberry pop thing. Oh, uh, like a, uh, like a like gugger? A... No, no, no. It's on a stick, frozen. Like a popsicle. Yeah, I was thinking, I'm like, thinking about that strawberry shortcake popsicle. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, no, not that one. It, it's the regular yeah. one with the pureed strawberry looking thing. Yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think I have. You got me other... thinking about the shortcakes. You know, strawberry shortcake is my favorite dessert. So now I started thinking about that ice cream. See, so so what's going to have to happen is. Uh, Sherbert. Sure, Sherbert's sure good too. I was going to say, when we do a. Um, when we get together, I'm going to have to make you a strawberry cream cake. I'll just bring my gloves and bring my thing and, you know, it'll be fine. Yeah, because you're, aren't you allergic to strawberries? Yeah. But yeah, I still, you know, I still eat them. You. I still eat them. I know a couple of people who they I have occasional noticed, breakouts. That's how I am. If I eat them, if I eat too many, then I'll break the fuck out and be itching and sizzling and under my skin and stuff is horrible. <laughs> but um, if I eat just a couple, I'm okay. Yeah. But when I noticed the last time I baked it, girl, I had to wear gloves because I was breaking out all of my hands and shit. Because Ooh. it, well, it's because you know you 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 use the real strawberries, you puree the strawberries, you put them inside the cake, and you put them in the um the icing. I mean, mm. like I make the whole thing from scratch. That's delicious. It is. It's divine, and I put the the cream on it. Oh my god, it's so good. Oh my. Mm. Yeah. So I have to make you one of those. Oh yeah. All right. Well, we're landing this plane. Playing. All right, so 2024 is this year. I decided to focus um, on uh, workshops and series and master classes and things like that um, because I want to prepare to uh, build this membership because that is what has been on my heart and I, it's been on my heart for a while and people dissuaded me and discouraged me, but this year I decided, fuck it, I'm going to do what the hell I want. Bader says do. we made him hungry. <laughs> well, get yourself some food. <laughs> But yeah, so that's where I'm at and I'm doing it on YouTube and I'm doing it on TikTok. So follow me over there for sure. I'm, you know, I'll be on here as always, you know, and stuff, but I'm going to build over there because I am monetizing my YouTube. So I would love it if you would go over there and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's under Tammy Morrison and it is, I have over a thousand videos on there. I would love for you to subscribe and go watch some videos for me so we can monetize over there. So that's what I'm doing and I'll be doing um, putting some stuff up um, with some of the, the workshops on Eventbrite because I think that's the platform that I'm going to use. That way um, we can start um, becoming a community and a family. And what the hell? My battery is running damn low. Okay. Well, so Megan, what you got going on? 
Um, I'm going to say like right now, I got a lot of stuff going on, but um, we can do that for next week. But right now um, I am trying to get my followers up, um, you know, trying to monetize, um, trying to get my, um, my talk show, my, my TV talk show, get real with Megan Marie. Cause it's all about getting real. It's about getting healed. It's about getting over toxic. It's just about getting real. Um, and, uh, but you can catch me Monday through Friday on the LJDN radio.com. Um, you guys can check us out there we talk about some racy topics there wednesdays are typically we talk about racism thursdays mental health relationships um is uh, uh fr the relationship fridays um is one of my favorite days um i can make lena blush on those days um and then you know i do do personal counseling i am a um counselor nlp and i do have a coaching program to help you become alive again because it's about getting real and getting live all right. All right. That's what's on. That's what's on. That's what's on. All right. So we are going to head out and we will see you again next week, hopefully. Yeah. Yeah, it should be good. Because I was going to say, I'm not sure. There's a lot of stuff, but I think it's early. That's why I had to remember because we got all these appointments and I got one Friday. I think I got one Wednesday. David has one Monday. We have one. Yeah. It's been just a little bit ridiculous, but it's going to be okay. It's, it's okay. all right. It's all right. All right. So we appreciate y'all. We thank y'all for hanging out with us. It's been so much fun. I love when we have people to talk to us. Melissa, thank you for joining. Pedro, yes. Christy, um, Princess, Dr. James, Sean, all of you people, Jama trying to make sure I had everybody because you know I'm trying to make sure that everybody feels acknowledged and we're so grateful that you came and that you hung out with us and continue to follow us as we continue to be go forward with this show so so you knew us when we were little exactly you're like we I, I remember I used to watch them on Facebook and look at them now All right. Have a wonderful one. Talk to you soon. We'll see you see later. See you next week, y'all. Namaste. Bye. Okay. Oh, okay. All right, girl. Mm. All right, love you. I'm going <sighs> to lay down. I'm going to eat some food. Yep. I'm, I'm going to go get my thing. I do have one, um, one with the alcohol in it, too. A popsicle. <laughs> David said, you know you got this up in here with <laughs> I said, oh, okay. Well, I'm mean, your bed. Well, there you go. Yeah, I'm gonna go grab me a couple ice cream sandwiches. Yeah, see that's my watching stuff. TV. That yeah, because is... I'm trying to go back to bed early again, trying to get back up and getting like showers in the morning and all that and trying to get yourself on a routine. I'm trying to get myself back on a routine, yes. And it's okay. Did we stop um, on Facebook?